Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Double Jackpot. Guys, we're going to get into a good Christopher Mitchell video tonight. Uh, we're going to recap 2021, but first I want to thank each and every one of you subscribers for an outstanding year. Uh, channel has grown a lot quicker and a lot bigger than I've ever thought and imagined. Uh, going to do a lot of other, other uh, types of content. Uh, we're going to still do a ton of Christopher Mitchell videos because this guy just never, ever stops. So we're going to keep doing them. Y'all love the videos. Y'all are the big, big supporters of it. And um, I want to tell y'all have a safe and happy new year tomorrow for 2022. Be safe and have a good time. Don't drink and drive and um, be home and get home safe. Okay, so we're going to jump right into this video. Also want to thank Miss Jackpot for all the amazing thumbnails she does and all the work she does behind the scenes trying to get these videos uploaded. So I mean, it's a it's a, all I do is the content. She does a lot of content. Hope you enjoyed all the Christmas videos. Um, we're gonna get right into this video. So change your life vlog. You know, what exactly does that mean? Change your life. How has Christopher Mitchell changed anybody's life? We've never seen any testimonials come forward in the year and a half, almost two years of doing these videos. Would you have somebody coming forward saying, yeah, I'm I'm making a hundred thousand. I'm doing this. I mean, think about it. That's number one telltale sign of a bunch of a load of BS. Not one person. Somebody has to be mimicking his every move, making as much money as him. Because let's face it, I if I was making that kind of money, I'm posting a video on YouTube celebrating and telling y'all how, how great I am. Not. Okay, so change your life. The only thing it's changing is it's taking money from you and putting it in his bank account. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing it's doing. We've seen it time and time and time again from victims, from people, from um, just everything. Everything that he does is misleading. 100% win rate, 100% winning strategy, 100% this, 100% that. And then you got the head nod, the perfect MLM scam artist of all time with his mannerisms, his well thought out words, documentation beats conversation, yet he never shows you any documentation. He puts it on a whiteboard. He can put numbers anywhere he wants. He doesn't ever go to the history. He has never shown any proof, but I'm going to back up because I'm going way too ahead of myself. So you got change your life vlog. You got the scammer, his, his old hag wife, Stacy. Happy New Year, Stacy. Horrible mother, y'all. Y'all think gambling is something you want to teach your son to do. He doesn't, Christopher's got one thing in common with most scam artists. They've never worked a day, a day in their life. That's the facts. You know, and Christopher, you want to say documentation beats conversation. Facts are what matter. Facts are you've never held a job. Facts, you've always been an MLM. Facts, you've always been a fast talker. Facts, you've always tried to take from somebody and try to give them something that you think is worth something that's basically free. We saw with the two sheets of notebook paper for 600 bucks a year and a half ago. How do you like to get that sent to you? How do you like to have that little thing emailed to you? How pissed are you? Let's face it. What do all scammers have in common? They don't take a method of payment. How do they take it? Untraceable. Untraceable payments. You think you do a credit card? You know, Square offers it. He's not going to do anything that has any kind of chargeback, kickback, anything. It's cash, show up, because he knows. He knows it's a, it's a failure proposition. It's a failure of what he's trying to teach. He's a failure, you know? Think about it. Change your life. He goes out there and blows a lot of smoke, makes a lot of noise, you know? He's a cheerleader. He's a, he's a little cheerleader. He's not a player. He's a cheerleader. 
I got this broken down into many, many uh, things, but how, how is he going to change your life? Hmm. He's going to get you invested in real estate, some mutual funds, some ETFs, some stocks, some, some, uh, some type of business. No, you're going to the, you're going to gamble with the bankroll and you're going to, you're never going to have a bad day. You're never going to, like I said, here's the phrase to remember. I asked a guy, and I've asked several people, what do you think about Martin Galing? What do you think of doubling your bet? What do you think of trip? That all works great until what? It doesn't work. What does that exactly mean? Well, it's gonna you're gonna have a string of bad luck. You know, Detroit is gonna beat Arizona. Okay. Houston's gonna beat the Los Angeles Chargers. You know, it's gonna happen. Appalachian State's gonna beat Michigan. It's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen. That's why, um, you know, like I said, Christopher Mitchell's never met a favorite he didn't like to play because he doesn't know anything. He's he's just going to agree with Vegas and be the sucker of the sucker bets. Okay, then you're going to go to why. Why are your, what is your key to wanting to be a professional gambler or earn a living gambling? The obvious you don't want to get a job. Who wants to work? <laughs> go figure. Who wants to go work? Nine to five, just over broke, J-O-B. That's all taught in MLM meetings. Let's bash somebody's job. Let's bash, I don't care where you work, sandwich shop, daycare, uh, day labor. What's it matter? You saw how he laughed upon the laborers out there digging ditches. You know, this guy has no respect for anybody. He thinks he's so cool. He thinks he's so great. He thinks he can talk above you. And then he gets pissed off at, him, at himself as a subscriber. He's over there lashing out on a dealer online, which we all know he's bashed online gambling. Why do you imagine he went to online gambling? It's one reason and one reason only, because he's a low roller. He was getting pushed out of the casinos on the max on the on the minimum bets got to come to the table with 25 50 whatever they put the table limits at you know he's he's going down the strip he's not going over to some back back hole in the wall casino that has a low minimum you know he's not going down Fremont Street he's not going to be over at a small casino he's going to be at he's going to be at the Bellagio where the table limits are maxed and then it took him a whole year to figure this out. I mean, anybody that has an online gambling account already knows you can play 50 cent roulette, dollar sports bets. You know, you can do all that. So he was late to the party on that. I just I was scratching my head. Why is this moron playing and risking his bankroll inside of a casino with high limits? Think about it, folks, folks, folks. Let's go to number three, when. You know, professional gamblers, when. Well, this this joker, being nice when I say joker, gambles every single day. He doesn't, he took a day off to get his grill fixed. Should have put some of that money in Stacy's hair. Crap. You know, should have gave her a little hair allowance there, Christopher, instead of working on your grill. Just my side note there just facing it let's face it so he gambles every day that's not a sign of a professional gambler what's that a sign of somebody with a gambling issue gambling problem gambling degenerate you know ego driven he's all about ego okay and where does he gamble well before he shows you all the casinos. He shows you everything. You know how many times he's come home? He's come home with his tail between his legs, walked up that flight of stairs in that rented condo and said, Stacy, I just, if I just, this is the gambler's favorite phrase. If I just, if I could have, oh, I had this. Oh, I should have left. Oh, I, I couldn't believe it. it it's, it's crazy how I lost that hand. It's, Man, it landed on, also, you know, just they got the excuses covered, you know. 
it's every excuse. Can you imagine how Stacy's been beaten on these excuses? But she deserves it. Anybody that puts themselves in a situation like that deserves it. That's how helpless she is. Okay, we've got five. What's the phrase of the year? Documentation beats conversation. You know, if this was a home run derby, I think I've had like 25 out already, 25 out of 25. I mean, I'm going yard on Christopher every every pitch. You know, you know. let's face it. Y'all saw those videos back in the beginning where he's chewing with his mouth open. This dude is uncouth, no manners, low class, white trash, you know, everything. You know, he talks down, screams at people, hollers. You saw how frustrated he was with his, with his son in the room. That's when Stacy says, I'm not dealing with it. You deal with it. I don't care if it ruins your video. That was her her take. You know, he's screaming at a on, squ- screaming at an online dealer like they can hear him. You know, trying to tip somebody that can't take a tip. This guy is, I mean, this guy has more game than Milton Bradley. And this guy makes Hasbro look like no game. This guy's a complete and utter loser. You know, and he goes on and he goes on and goes on and he shows these videos of him winning all the time. Well, let's face it, to make $120,000 a month like he claims, I I mean, you're making, you're making $4,000 a day if it's a 30 day month, you know, simple math, $4,000 a day. There's not enough hours in the day for him to do that. I love his last phrase. He said in one of his videos, folks. I didn't say I did it all in gambling. Well, Christopher, it's been almost two years. You've never showed us any other take. Oh, you don't have to, but documentation beats conversation. You run off at the mouth, like you always say. You do all your little hand gestures, but you never prove jack nothing. You try to hype up so these people out there and YouTube searching for a escape from to make money, you think you're going to lure these people in. And you have, you made hundreds of thousands of dollars off of these people. Hundreds of thousand, that's proven, you know? So you're going to run off at the mouth and you're going to tell people you make $4,000 a day, but you didn't make it all in the casino. You did it on other business ventures, marketing, sponsorship. You never said anything about that and you won't. Documentation, Christopher, documentation. Just running off at the mouth like a typical MLM meeting. And I've been to so many of these MLM meetings. I'm an an MLM meeting, worst nightmare showing up because I call these blowhards out. And I'm not saying you can't be successful at it, but they hate to be questioned. They hate to be pinned down. Oh, quit your job, do this. Don't quit your job, you can supplement it, this and that. How will $50 change your life? Well, $50 won't change my life if it's gonna take me 32 hours to get to that 50 bucks. So you can make 400 when I reach my $50 limit, my $50 goal. I mean, these people, like Christopher Mitchell, they love to do all the catchphrases. Catchphrases are what what makes his channel thrive. Documentation beats conversation. What documentation has he ever shown you? None. He showed you eight streams of income, million dollar blueprint. We haven't heard about that in six months. I I suppose in the next couple of months, he's gonna be somewhere around 900,000. He's gonna be hooping and hollering, you know? hooting and hollering, he's gonna make all kinds of noise. Cause that's what Christopher Mitchell does. He's a hype man, pitch man, you know, but documentation beats conversation. What's he done? Nothing. You know, he shows you making a hundred bucks a day. If he's making a hundred bucks a day, let's round it up and let's give him an extra 200. He loses no days at $6,000 a month. Okay, how'd I get that? I'm gonna do public school math. a day, we're going to go off a 30-day month, times 30, $6,000. That's his monthly income. He's got at least a $3,000 a month condo that he's renting. So now he's got $3,000 and he still has two people to feed, a car payment. You know he's probably living off the government on health insurance. Come to think of it, I kind of got Obamacare too. Side note. (laughs) Thank you, Obama, for that wonderful healthcare policy where we could pick and choose our doctors. Not so much, but I digress. Um, That's what happens when you're self-employed. Not that easy. 
Um, lost my train of thought there. Um, but we go we go back to the documentation beats conversation. Miss Jackpot, are you okay over there? You're dozing off. You want to say something? No. Figured you did. Say, Christopher, quit gambling so much. Champers and me are hungry. But getting back to the video, um, you know, he, he, he hosts every video he does as like you're beneath him. He talks down to the viewers. He gets pissed off at the viewers. This is everything that we've seen in 2021. You know, he's never done X-rated videos. <laughs> Lie. He's never done, you know, he has horrible credit. He's worth a million dollars. He's worth this. He's making $120,000 a, a, a month. Wow. It's all written down on a whiteboard where he took off December 20th to go to the dentist. You know, it just it just amazes you what he wants you to believe. You know, guys, you, you guys are the smartest subscribers. You guys are the best comment leaver leave the best comments. E pray frag. You you amaze me. Infinity. John Brown. Oh god, there's just so many. Uh Woon Soon Leon. Just some of the names that are popping out. Y'all leave the most amazing comments. Um, gosh, there's just so many. Uh, I know I left a bunch out. You guys know who you are. Um, uh, there's one that leaves me comments all the time, and he's, he's really funny. Can you think of a Miss Jackpot? No, she's she's been very busy this week. Hope you all enjoyed all the videos that we've been posting. We're going to get way more into, um, into... Christopher Mitchell's videos, uh, wanted to, again, in case I don't get a New Year's video up, I want to wish everybody a happy New Year, a safe New Year. Um, do not think this is easy. You know, change your live log coming into the casinos to think about it. You think he's, he says he's going to try to make you happy, healthy, wealthy. How? How? You know, here's my here's my phrase that I've used for 2021. I'm gonna carry it all the way over to 2022. Invest in yourself. Anything you're gonna to give to somebody, whether it's a casino, whether it's Christopher Mitchell, invest it in yourself. Give it to your kid if you don't just want to throw money out the window. Give it, put it in a put it in a uh, savings account and let it just collect dust. But do not give it to this guy. You know, he thinks by saying it. And, and try to convincing you that you can make and do what he does. You can't make and do what he does because, A, you don't have the tolerance to be a gambling degenerate to lay that kind of money down, okay? Over and over and over, okay? And I hope you guys don't. And I know some of you guys, you know who you guys are. I've reached out to, you know, I, I, I hope you all um, can can get some of this stuff behind you that when it comes to gambling. I mean, I know it's an addiction like anything else, and I hope that some of you guys that are, I know I beat up on, on, a, on a lot of the degenerates out there, and I understand and my heart goes out to you because I know it's a tough thing you're dealing with. I really do. It's like any addiction. Uh, another video on that later. I'm not here to, to make the new year down. Y'all have an amazing Amazing New Year. Stay safe. I'm going to do another video. I'm going to be shooting out a bunch of Christopher Mitchell, Christopher Mitchell videos because there's just so many. You know, there's so many of this guy. And like I said, it's all driven on hype, time sensitive type of stuff. But he doesn't stick with nothing. Always remember that. And think about it. How are you going to pay him? Well, first of all, do not pay him. Guys, if y'all want to just throw money away, I can tell you a lot of other things to invest in and do. And you'll have just as good a chance of having a return and it'll, it'll be safe. So, you know, we've gone over it over and over it. And like I said, when you got to pay somebody, whether it be in cash or something that you cannot have a record of or have anybody come and try to get it back for you, 
just know that's a scam. Okay, you'll never ever ever take a credit card. Okay, it's always going to be cash. And you guys remember this when you're paying for, I don't care, even if you're going to sign up with the online casino, y'all pay by credit card. You know, don't, don't get feed to death. Get reimbursed. And whatever you do, do not listen to him and just kind of look at him as entertainment only because he is a joke. Again, documentation beats conversation. And look, I'm going to say this. I totally believe when he does these little stupid contests where he wants you to just take a screenshot. That's so he can call that casino and say, hey, look, this is the guy I sent you. Because let's face it, these casinos, they don't always pay out on, on referrals. That's the biggest joke ever, you know. You know, that's just the facts, too. So he, he's probably thought, I've sent you tons of tons of players, and you're not paying out on every single one of them. So he wants screenshots so he can say, hey, this was my this was my lead that I gave you. This was my customer that I sent you. You know, he doesn't give a rat's you know what about you guys. Guys, y'all have a safe and happy new year, and I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Thank you.